you doing today? Welcome to Life with Freaking Belsif. I'm your host, Belsif. Soon, oh, pardon me, we're going to start pulling the stereo stuff out of the old safari. I'm going to take her apart, take all the stereo stuff out of her, maybe put one of these in a the silver radio, and then we'll go from there. But leave your comments down below and let me know what you think I should do with a safari other than sell it. This teardown will start probably on the weekend. No, not this weekend because we're going racing this weekend. But soon, this will be my winter project. I take everything out of here, put it all downstairs, and decide what I'm going to keep, what I'm going to sell. Let's just cock this van right over for fuck's sake. Why wouldn't we? I can't wait to freaking just start cocking around with this thing. And we'll see if we can't dick her right over. It's going to be quite the little gangbang on her. We'll do a little gangbang together, we will, on her, and we'll see what happens. Nothing like a good gangbang. Freak, no, there's not. Cocks come right off all the way around, Captain. That's urethane, boys. I use urethane on her. Girls, peoples. The old Vanna Ruski. Friggin' right. Should throw a roll cage in her. Back half her. LS Twin Turbo. Who wants to be my sponsor? Leave your comments down below. If you want to see this van turn into a Twin Turbo LS Mini Tub Monster, Email me at blind at kojiko.ca. Why wouldn't you? You hear that, Holly? Sponsor me on this van and let's build a van together. Make the front half come off. You can just release it. Do a like four link setup in the back end. I don't know, eight inch rear end or four nine inch. Narrow her up, slap her in. Get a sick, nice little EL80, is it? L EL80 transmission for her. Okay, beef her up. New drive shaft. Nice friggin' axles in her. That's what I want to do though, boys. I want to go fast. It's hard for Bill to go fast. I miss my old hot rods back in the days. And old 80 Malibu, which I'll show right there. And I had a friggin' 87 Cutlass, which I'll show right there. And then I had a Lord C10, which I'll show down there. And uh, you can tell me what you think of them, but those are my old vehicles we used to have. We used to have some fun with them. I had a blower motor on this side, see it? That's decent. In the old truck, and it was fun. But the Cutlass was the funnest because it was nitrous and it worked real good. It was a 355. Holly 650, I think I was running that one. It worked good. Monte Carlo, or the Malibu, sorry, and it had a 355 with 305 out high output heads. Stevie and I ported them. Slapped them on that car, ran a 13 2 back in the day. That was freaking fast. Nowadays it's slower, dicks, but 13 something was fast back in my days. And the truck ran a 13 42 and it was 6,500 poundages. That's what I love to do with this fan, just make her kind of a sleeper, keep her stock looking, and put an LS twin turbo in her with a freaking chopped ass end and nice deep dish rims on her, about 20 inches, and uh, slam her down, and that's what I think. So, gonna yank this stereo out. Yank all the speakers out, yank the interior out, and then we'll decide what we're going to do. If it doesn't happen, then we'll put her back to stock, but Holly, Texas Speed. Throw me a bone here, would you? I'm just a friggin' average working man with not a lot of money, and I want to friggin' go fast. Frank, the dreams are high. There. But hopefully we can do them together. One day we'll all be dead. What do you think of that? Friggin' right, we'll all be dead. But if anybody wants any 15-inch uh, Hertz speakers, they're like 560 bucks new. I'll sell them for probably 300 a piece. Yep, 300 a piece for them. The 6500 water amplifier, I'll probably let her go for 500 bucks, no less. No less. 500 bones. I think this was 1200 bucks, so actually 600 bucks. I changed my mind. So if you want that amplifier, text me below. But we'll have to see. I might just put it all downstairs and keep it too. So I'm not really worried about selling it, but let me know in the comments below if you're interested in any of this shit. Why wouldn't you? And let me know in the comments below if you want me to do a twin turbo LS in the old 93 Chevy GMC Safari. Stick around to the channel because you never know what's going to come. If we do one of them, that's going to be pretty freaking decent. Nothing like running low tens in a Safari with no roll cage. How long do you think we'll get away from that one pass? But this is just a short little video on a little chat about the safari, what I'm going to do with it. And leave your comments down below and let me know what your thoughts are on it. That's the way she goes. But racing this weekend, come along for the ride. I'll take you and I'll do some video and I will. If you want to see that, leave a comment down below. And other than that, I'm going to go inside and eat some dinner. Relax. Just got off work. It's Monday. 
or Tuesday, whatever it is. It might be Tuesday by the time you see this video. So it's Tuesday. So hopefully everyone's having a good day like I am not doing anything I ain't doing. And until then, or until next time, you know what to do for now.